Dear students, now we are going to solve important problems in magnetic flux density. So here we can consider the magnetic vector potential is given that is a vector is given then the magnetic flux density can be obtained by using the formula del cross a vector. So this is the formula we are going to use to calculate the magnetic flux density. Okay. So the first problem for a current distribution in free space the vector potential a vector is equal to 2x squared y plus yz ax bar plus xy squared minus x z cube a y bar minus 6xyz minus 2x squared y squared a z bar vapor bar meter calculate the magnetic flux density so in this problem the vector potential is given we are going to find out the magnetic flux density okay so first in the solution part we have to write the given data so what is the given data vector potential we can take the x component that is ax is equal to 2x squared y plus yz y component as ay is equal to xy squared minus xz cube and the z component as minus is there right so we have to multiply this value with this minus so a z is equal to minus 6 x y minus into minus plus. So plus 2 x square y square. Do you all understand this one? So first we have to write the given data. Then we are going to find out the magnetic flux density. So for that we can use the formula b vector is equal to del cross a vector. So the formula is a x a y a z bar that is unit vector here. Then dou by dou x, dou by dou y, dou by dou z. Then ax, ay, az. Okay, so this is the formula for curl operation. So next we can solve this matrix. Then we can get b vector is equal to ax bar into, we can cross multiply this two. So dou az by dou y minus dou ay by dou z. Okay, then the second column that is minus ay bar into we can cross multiply this two then we can get dou a z by dou x minus dou a x by dou z the last one is plus a z bar we can cross multiply this two we can get dou a y by dou x minus dou a x by dou y so this is the standard formula for the curl operation we can consider this as the first equation so next we are going to solve this expression by substituting the values of this capital AZ, AY and AX. So here we can consider this as the BX component that is the X component of magnetic flux density. Similarly we can consider this as the BY component. This is the Z component for this magnetic flux density. We can take this value BX. So here we can take dou az by dou y minus dou ay by dou z. Then we can substitute the given data az and ay in this one. So dou of az value is minus 6 xyz plus 2 x squared y squared by dou y minus dou of ay component is xy squared minus xz cube by dou z. So here we are going to differentiate with respect to y then we can get minus 6xz. This y becomes 1. So here it is 2 into x squared. So this y squared becomes 2y. Then we can get 4x squared y minus this side. We are going to differentiate with respect to z. Okay. So here there is no z term. This term becomes 0. Here we can take the differentiation. So here we can get minus x into z cube means 3 z squared. Then we can get the value as bx is equal to minus 6 x z plus 4 x y plus 3 x z squared. Do you all understand this one? Similarly, we can find out the value for by. So here by is equal to dou a z by dou x minus dou a x by dou z. 
then we can substitute the value of a z here and a x here. So dou by dou x of minus 6 x y z plus 2 x squared y squared minus dou by dou z of 2 x squared y plus y z. So here we are going to differentiate with respect to what? x then this term becomes minus 6 y z. This x becomes 1. So here it is 2 into 2 x. So 4 x y squared. Here we are going to differentiate with respect to z. Okay, so minus of here there is no z term. This term becomes 0. Here z becomes 1. Then we can get minus of y. So here we can get the by component as minus 6yz plus 4xy squared minus y. Okay, and the last term is bz. Okay, z component of this magnetic flux density. So for that we can take this one dou ay by dou x minus dou ax by dou y. Simply we can substitute that ay component here xy squared minus xz cube minus dou by dou y of ax value is 2x squared y plus yz. So the same way we are going to differentiate with respect to x here y then we can get the value of z component as y squared minus z cube minus 2x squared minus z. So in the next step we are going to substitute so all these three components in the first equation to get the magnetic flux density. So here b is equal to ax bar of the bx value is what minus 6xz plus 4x squared y plus 3xz squared. Then the second term is minus ay bar of the b y component is minus 6yz plus 4xy squared minus y. Okay. Then az bar of z component y squared minus z cube minus 2x squared minus z. So here we are having minus sign. Then we can multiply this minus inside this bracket. Then finally we can get the magnetic flux density b vector is equal to minus 6xz plus 4x squared y plus 3xz squared ax bar plus 6yz because we have multiplied this minus inside this bracket so this term becomes plus this term becomes minus this one becomes plus okay so plus 6yz minus 4xy squared plus y ay bar plus az term so, so here the unit of magnetic flux density is Weber bar meter square. So this is the final answer. Okay. Let's solve the next problem. At a point P of x, y, z, the components of vector magnetic potential A vector are given as Ax is equal to 4x plus 3y plus 2z. Ay is equal to 5x plus 6y plus 3z. And Az is equal to 2x plus 3y plus 5z. Determine the magnetic flux density B vector at a point P and state its nature. So in this problem, the vector potential components are directly given Ax, Ay and Az. So we are going to determine the magnetic flux density and analyze its states. Okay. In the solution part, we are going to use the formula B vector is equal to del cross A vector. Then here del cross A vector is equal to Ax bar, Ay bar, Az bar, dou by dou x, dou by dou y, dou by dou z, Ax, Ay, Az. Okay, then we can expand this matrix and then we are going to substitute the values of Ax, Ay and Az in this expression directly. So here we can get Ax bar of dou by dou A of az value is 2x plus 3y plus 5z minus dou by dou z of here ay value is 5x plus 6y plus 3z. So next minus ay bar of dou by dou x of here az value is 2x plus 3y plus 5z minus dou by dou z of ax value is 4x plus 3y plus 2z. Similarly we can substitute the values of az bar of dou by dou x of Ay value is 5x plus 6y plus 3z and here Ax value is 4x plus 3y plus 2z. Then when we are going to differentiate with respect to y then the remaining terms become 0. 
here we can get 3 and here also we can get the value of z as 3. So this term becomes 0, this one becomes 0. Here we are going to differentiate with respect to x. So here we can get 2 this term 0. z means here this term is 2, here its value is 0, 0. And then dou by dou x of 5x plus 6y plus 3z. So these two terms become 0. Here we can get 5. And here we are going to differentiate with respect to y. Then we can get 3. Here this value is 0. This value is 0. And then we can get the answer as ax bar of 0. And here ay bar of 0. And then az bar of 5 minus 3. That means 2. Okay. Finally we can get the magnetic flux density is equal to 2 into az bar. Its unit is vapor per meter square. Since the magnetic flux density value is constant. So we can say that given field is a conservative field. Okay. This is very important to analyze the characteristics of the given field component. Okay.